Alright, welcome back. This is an important little video I'm going to shell out. It's going to be short, it's going to be quick, but it's going to have some interesting information because it seems like I've been chasing my tail when it comes to the VE table, and I don't want you guys to make the same mistake. So, I'm going to show you what it is that I was doing wrong and why changing the VE table hasn't been helping me in the last couple of drives that I've done. So, stick around. <laughs> I'll show you what it is that's going on. And technically, this is a problem from the factory. All right, it came to me this way. So watch, stay tuned, here we go. All right, a quick new video here to see if I can correct a mistake that I believe that I made, and it might be something that you guys are experiencing too. So we're gonna go over to tuning, and what I did is I actually drove my car for about an hour, and I wanted to check on it to see how it was doing with the new fuel table, right, the new VE table. So this is what I found. Tuning, open up, here's my second drive. So I'm going to load it. It's now loaded. Now what we, you need to look at is my presets. Check this out. I'm going to go to the fuel self-learn table and let's see what it did after one hour's one hour and a half's worth of drive. I'm going to go to heat map. Look at this. And I'm going to go over to my 3D view here. All right. You remember my old one. My old one was in the exact same spot and it was adding anywhere from 7 to 9 percent. Here we're at 6 percent or so. Here at the low spot it's not as bad as it was. It's adding about 1 percent right about here. See that? And there it is again just like my last one only it's a little less tall as it used to be. Oh and there's my second peak right here. Right here where I was adding about 4 percent or so. So my question to myself was self why am I still adding 6% or more, and here and over here we have some more over here, when I had made all the changes and added 9% to my VE table? How can I have added 9% when it was asking for 9%, but I'm still drawing in 6% after one hour's worth of driving? That is very strange, and the only thing I can think of is something is telling it to continuously add more of this, uh, even though I had made the corrections. Why is it not following my VE table? And I think I figured out why. Here I have my mild VE, and you can see I still have my changes. It still looks just like it did last time. But what I figured out was I might, okay, here's another one of my presets, mild fuel table offset. It's at 55%. That means that whatever I'm asking it to, it's drawing down, like removing fuel, and only giving me 55% of the value. Why am I leaning when I don't want to be leaning? So, okay, if you guys want to see, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this back to 100%, and then that way it'll run off of 100% of what the fuel VE table is asking it to do. So, let's see. This is how you do it. You come over here and see where you're at. You go to fuel. You go up here to custom items and here you have your fuel table offset. See stock is at 100%. Why is mild at 55 and race at 50? It's it's only putting in 55% or 50% of whatever the VE table is asking. That's what I believe this is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this back up to 100% and ta-da. I'm going to actually I'll add the two zeros on top of that. Uh -huh. There we go. Oh, it just removes the zeros anyways. Okay, so we'll leave it at 100% and we're going to save this tune and we're going to go out on the car. But remember, the, what you have to do though is you're going to go back up to your fuel self-learn table and you have to blank that back out again, put it at zeros and begin all over again once you make a change of that kind. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Right click, clear the table values. Fantastic. And we've already done the fuel table offset. Mild is now at 100% and I am going to be saving my data. So we're going to be doing tuning video series uh, 5. And we'll be uploading that to the kill shot later and uh, see how that goes. And then I will drive again for another hour or two to see how it's running, to see if it made any difference whatsoever. And if I find that everything's running better, I'll update you guys. See you next time. And that was supposed to be the end of the video, but you know what? I couldn't wait. I had to go out to the car and drive it around for a little while and just see what kind of feedback I get from the computer, you know? So uh, let's take a peek and see what we got. We're going to go to tuning and we're going to open up that last drive. 
and here we go. So um, look at the fuel table. Offset is still at 100. Okay, and we are going to go to my 2D table, and we are going to look at here. Okay, so see here, this, the VE table is the exact same thing that I had before. And the fuel self-learn now that I have it at 100, look what it's doing. <laughs> a little strange looking, right? Now, let's let's do this. And you can see it. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. <laughs> okay, so first things first. Across the entire board, we are removing about 6%, all right? And down here at startup, we're removing 10%. And over here where it matters, we are removing anywhere from 7% to what is like 15% right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, no wonder it was driving kind of funny on me. Yeah, look at the peak it had to climb. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we needed to go back up to 100%. So at 100%, with all the modifications that I did, we need to remove a ton of stuff now, okay? So basically, yeah, we should have been at 100%. So this is what you guys need to know. Um, First things first, I might actually just reflash re the entire thing, the whole kill shot, and go back to stock, okay? There's, there's probably no reason for me to be on mild if it's pulling 10% off, okay, from, you know, or 6% off from the uh, just base. So, and then 15%, this is way, <laughs> way too rich. As I was driving around, this thing was, at, my handheld was actually showing me, I was like at, um, oh, it was like, my AFR was something like 8 <laughs> or something like that, or 9. So yeah, it was kind of making me, you know, <laughs> kind of nervous. But I'll tell you what, man, I could tell there was something really off about it right away when, I mean, <laughs> the smell of total sheer and utter victory was in the air. Okay, <laughs> There were so many <laughs> hydrocarbons floating around, I could have probably have killed myself. So anyway, here's what you need to see. Make sure that your table is at 100%. If it is one, at 100%, okay, then just follow the instructions I gave you in the previous video. If it was not at 100%, you go to 100% and it's doing this kind of thing, you might want to consider going to stock. If you were already in stock and stock was a little off, then just play with it, just like my video said originally, okay? So what I'm probably going to do at this point is I'm probably going to go back, get rid of my mild settings, and start all over again, but this time under stock. Um, Maybe. <laughs> I might just play with it under uh, mild for a little while and see if I can get this better uh, and just deal with it that way. But yes, guys, really just make sure that your offset is at 100% because what it was doing was it was at 55%. So I told it to change all kinds of stuff, but it was still at 55%. So it was still trying to lean and lean and lean. So I'm at 100% now, and I know that my fuel table is at 100%, and now I can make my corrections, you know, <laughs> correctly. So anyway, just, just so you guys know, make sure that you're table offset is at 100%, okay? And then after that, then make all the changes that I've shown you guys how to do in the previous video, all right? <laughs> this little video goes out there just, you know, so it doesn't take you guys by surprise. And then you come and say, what the heck's going on? That's what's going on, <laughs> okay? Good luck, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.